Yo, what's up? This video has been brought to you by Card Kingdom. Welcome back to another episode of Single Scoop. This episode, we're going to make sure our little coat check deck is going to run wild on the ladder. It's going to be an artifact based deck using Thousand Moon Smithy and Cryptic Coat. So once we can flip over Thousand Moon Smithy to the backside, which is its land side, whenever we cast an artifact spell, we get to then put a XX gnome equals number of artifacts. Well, great news. Cryptic Coat is just going to keep looping. We're just going to keep doing that over and over, slowly grind our opponents out. We also have Forensic Gadgeteer, a little bit more artifact support for the blue-white artifact archetype. Uh, we've got Ezram Agency Chief, which is going to just be a solid... It enters the battlefield, investigate twice, but you can pay one to sack an artifact, and then it gains your choice of Vigilance, Lifelink, Hexproof, until end of turn. So some solid top end with, of course, all the wonderful things that are Thousand Moon Smithy. And again, Cryptic Coat. Is this card not sweet? Okay, I do like this. This is much better. All right, I get Surveil. Hopefully I find an untapped land. Yeah, I think I'm going to need to keep all the mana I can find. I don't think that card is going to matter, right? I mean, maybe it does. I don't know. We'll find out. A Gnome. Does Gnome help? Gnome does give us a blocker, though. Oh, never mind. <laughs> no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. I lied to you. It does not. But it's a meld target for later. Uh, here. Have a gnome. Do you want to kill it? You draw me a card. I get a hold up spring loaded whatever. Oh, if you if you control no suspected skeletons. Is this good? I guess we kill here. It'll be solved, unfortunately, but that's the timeline we're on. I'm going to pass to the opponent here. Our opponent's deck is sweet, though. Just straight up mono black assassins. I'm hoping they don't think too much of it and they like, yeah, there we go. Okay. All right, we kill Massacre Girl. I think this is the game plan, because this will make it so that it only costs, what, two mana? Oh, but I don't have enough to do that, do I? I'll pass now. This is better. I at least now have a third blocker. So if they spend mana to remove anything of mine, that's fine. All right, they've popped their case of the stash skeleton. I don't know if this card is good or not. I mean, it's nice that they have a tutor for whatever situation, but, like, I'm still not sure that's good. Drown in Icor or Icor. Sorry, Icor. Well, I'm gonna block to no one's surprise. Okay. Sweet, I guess. Huge. Actually, huge. I'm gonna pitch two Lance. They must have go for the throat. 100%. What does that do? Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> Candy Grapple? That's hilarious, dude. <laughs> what is that? Okay, you got it. They're like actually cooking. They're playing nothing but nonsense right now, and I kind of love it. I couldn't save uh, Tezzeret, so Tez is gone. Huge. Huge. Yeah, sure, you got it, buddy. Here they go again. I guess, I, I guess this is decent. I'm going to just target you. All right. So now I get a massive body. And I'm going to go ahead and tap, tap. I don't know why I, I, I did that when I could have just... All right. Well, whatever. Irrelevant. Exile the top X cards of targets upon a library and put lands and cast among them without paying their mana cost for seven mana. I guess I just pass, right? I'll double block. I'll give you that. So it's solved. Oh, that's terrible. All right, let's just blow this up now. I don't think I, I care anymore. Right now, we just start attacking. Yes, I would like to actually get a land that does something here. Please and thank you. Once again, absolutely huge. Death Touch, you did me in. I need them to attack. 
Archfiend of the Dross. Okay. Uh huh. Absolutely nuts. Just a casual 7 7. It's fine. I think I'm doing a great job right now. I'll draw a card. Let's draw a card. Uh huh. All right. There we go. Sure. Let's trade that. I'll take that. That's a good trade. Now I pass. I want to get this unstable glyph online now. Virtue of persistence. Sure. Let's crack a clue. Braided net. That's huge. Uh-huh. I'm now going to combine with the gnome. That'll then draw me a card. Huge. Again. I kind of don't want to play anything. Right, if I play something now, it doesn't really do much. I guess I can animate, grow my land. Let's just get in there, deal another damage. Now we have another map token. I'm feeling pretty good right now. Oh no, I forgot. That kills it. Oh, but then they can't do everything all in one turn. I love that. Never mind. We're fine. Sure, gain that life, buddy. All right, in I go. Like, this is absolutely monstrous. This is insane. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, can you beat another one of these? <laughs> I don't know what they're gonna do. Look at these monstrous gnomes. This is insane. Three, four, five, six, seven. Next turn, I can go ahead and activate them. You got it, bud. All you. Yeah, Smitty, Smitty's popping off. Smitty's popping off. I'm going to I'm gonna keep this, I think. Maybe I don't die. Who knows? If they're a red deck, I might be cooked. Every deck, I feel like I'm probably pretty cooked. Never mind. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. That's a mana rock, baby. Oh, that's a creature. Okay. It's just, it's just a little guy. Oh, that's a problem. I want to draw a card. I really need a land here. Oh, that's also good. Wait, what? Oh, that's really bad for me. I didn't even see that. All right. So it looks like it's Boros Tokens. Oh, Adelini the Weenie. Okay, that's a problem. That's a huge problem. Oh my God, I might be dead, actually. This is insane. This is a good curve out while I stick... Like, I'm stuck on lands? This is cracked. Oh, I want that. Alright, time to tap them down, I guess. So I'm gonna take 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. So I'm down to 4. Lightning Helix, Lightning Helix ends me. Oh, maybe they only attack with 2... Th Wait, why wouldn't they attack all here? There's no reason for them... Huh. That's really weird. Why wouldn't they attack with more? Oh, that's why. Okay, I'm picking up what they're putting down here. I'm picking up what they're putting down here. Well, I guess I'll give you a token. And then I can tap down whatever they're going to try to hit me with here. And step if it creature with the base power. So they're always going to have more than their base power. I'll take one comfortably. We love that. Let's tap this thing down. Please and thank you. I'm gonna die. <laughs> How do I gain life? I guess we'll exile that. They helix me, I'm dead. Like, if they have anything at all, I'm super dead. But they don't. Because why would they? Oh, right. I knew that. GG's. Oh, this is, this is great. This is a great hand. I'm keeping this. Oh, no, this might be a control matchup. Oh, boy. Stifle doesn't exist in this format, right? <laughs> I don't want to chance it. I'm going to draw my... I want to draw my Lance. I'm going to draw my Lance. I have a Clock. I've got Ezrim. Oh, they're a control deck. Oh, they're the Monastery Swift Spear deck. I'm going to make them think I have something. I flat out don't. But I want them to think I do. 
You know, this deck kind of absolutely gets like rolled if I play No More Lies. And I don't know why I don't. They only threw away what? Consider? What are the odds they have some kind of nonsensical counterspell? Pretty high, right? I think they're currently waiting to play the sit and wait game, right? Oh my god, they just hit a double. They hit the old double double. I only saw negate. Oh, that's perfect. It's putting a play tapped. Amazing. Sure. Yes, yes, yes. You got it. You got it. You got me good. I feel silly. I have to kill this now. Do they have any more helping hands and recommissions? I need to get rid of those. Those are a little bit problematic. God. That is so brutal. They just keep having it, huh? Oh, this is real bad. Okay, I need to find something now. Ideally, <clears throat> the sweeper. I need to find my sweeper. I didn't find my sweeper, but I do have Ezrum. Okay, so they have another body, but I don't think I'm outright dead yet. Okay, so they like whatever's on top. That's concerning. I need to find my my unstable glyph bridge. Then I can force them to wait. Let me see here. Glyph bridge destroys or makes me sack everything. It destroys all things. So Ezrum plays real nice with glyph bridge. I can play land, pop everything. Oh god, that's such a blowout. Well, it's either glyph bridge or I lose. That's a loss. GG's. I'll keep. Oh, wait, this isn't a land. Oh, this is awkward. Okay, I'll play us planes and pass. All right, pass. They got another bat. Is that what's going on here? Oh, a lily. I guess I can discard make your move because who cares? I mean, this gives me a power stone, which is why I want it. Gives me a power stone that I can then, if I draw a fourth land, turn, uh, play Tezzeret, turn it into a 4-4. Four because four. I think Lily is going to have to minus. Ah, okay. So they're a reanimator deck. Block. Thank you. I think they forgot this had reach. Opponent definitely forgot that had reach. 100% I think they forgot that had reach. Ah, there it is. So now I have to beat Jin. Jin here is going to be kind of brutal. Oh, they stole my thing? Oh, are you serious? That's hilarious. Wait, why didn't they just get their own Jin? Oh, wait, I forgot. That's not going to do what I want it to do. Because I forgot, now when they attack the invasion of Amonkhet, Bad News Bears is going to happen. I need a land. I need two lands, because Jin's going to pop off here. Because invasion of Amonkhet's going to become a 4-4 copy of a Jin. So I actually really need to... Oh, but I guess they have then let me keep my Tezzeret. So how much does that matter? Alright, they have a 4-4 copy of Jin Gataxius. That's pretty good. I'm going to have to do this. This is such a feel bad. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, cool. So I guess I'll just pass because my first spell is going to get countered. Do they have counter magic? I guess my concern is do they have counter magic? Activate? Sure. The first artifact spell we I cast, right? Sure. Try? Okay, they have hexproof. You got it. That's so weird. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna plus. I need to draw more cards here. I'll pitch the unstable glyph. Okay, so now I've got resources to play with. This is pretty good. They crack more clues. You got it. 
I have a throwaway spring blades just in case they play gin or something like that. So I have a sweeper. That's what I thought. So gin is back. You got it. Resolves. Got to try for it. Nice. Okay. Now I'm going to just minus and I'm going to pass to uh pass to the opponent here. Oh, they got nothing. Just straight up nothing, huh? I absolutely love that. I'm going to ditch two lands. I think two lands is better. Let's go to combat. They have nothing. They have nothing. They, if they if they had something, they would have used it there. That's huge. Also, Tezzeret makes it so that our glyph melds for a lot cheaper. I'm going to keep. I've got a sweeper. Maybe they think I'm soldiers or something like that. Oh, that is actually exactly what I wanted right now. I could not have asked for a better uh, better land. Okay. This is probably bad for me, isn't it? Play land. Let's get spider out there. Gives me a power stone, so next turn I can play braided net and cryptic coat. So I get to dump my whole hand next turn. Creature tokens you control have add one man of any color. I'm going to see if I regret giving my opponent a power stone. <laughs> this could be real bad. Okay. Oh, it's a make your move. Okay. All right. Braided net it is. Next turn. What does that do? Mill five cards may put a print cover among the into your hand. Oh, okay. For one or more creature. Oh, that's so cool. Anytime a creature card, one or more creature cards, leave the graveyard. That's awesome. Opponents like straight up cooking right now, and I love that. Don't know if I care about that yet, but that is funny. I'll give you that. Guess I'll tap this down. Why not? Yeah, okay. Okay, this is where I want to be. I currently have an 8-8. How, I don't know how mad I can really be if I've got an 8-8. I'm going to just let them hit me, because who cares, right? Like, I could be tapping down their plant, but I don't think I care enough. I probably value my loyalty counters more. I need to tap five permanents or uh, artifacts. One, two, one. Let's assume that Thran Spider's dying. One, two, three, four, five. I'd have exactly enough here. Oh, no, not the Phyrexian foreskin. Okay, sure. I'm going to just clear the board. I'm going to clear the board here. This is better because then I actually get to bounce back my cloak or my coat. Then when I bounce back the coat, now I just start pooping out a bunch of artifacts, like big ones. Sure. Technically, this is going to leave the graveyard, right? So it's going to trigger Insidious Roots twice over. Sure. Don't know if I can beat that. Let's bounce this back to hand. Oh, this is huge. This is absolutely a monstrous, monstrous opening for us. So I can just, out of nowhere, get them. That's awesome. Is it a creature? It's a planes. Okay, well, I'd, I'd rather much have the planes, but it's okay. That's fine. Minor details. I also might need to pop one of their lands. Lord Skitterbeam. I mean, you got it. I guess I'm gonna have to board wipe this upcoming turn. That's not too bad. Okay, sure. Opponent's like really committing to the board here, huh? Yeah, run it. You are so far ahead of me in board right now. Sure. If they have a creature land, I'm gonna get super dunked. But for right now, I really do need some kind of like actual blue mana. So then I can return the cloak again. Would be a shame if something sweeped the board right now. All right, let's return the cloak to hand. Dude, I, th I think cloak is, is actually a, a house. Sure. Like, I kind of want to make a bunch of bodies. But I think I'm going to wait. They'll get to investigate, do all of that good stuff. But now I'll get to play a coat into play. Sure. And now we'll go ahead and play coat again. Dude, this is such a house, dude. This just keeps feeding itself. Oh my god, it's actually a creature. It's actually a creature? I actually have a creature underneath here? I also realized I could be attacking. It's unblockable. 
That's insane. Okay. Sure. You got it. The one time I had a creature. I'm going to tap this down. I guess it's about that time. Let's make another body. <laughs> thanks for making it to the end of the video. Check out my sweet Esper control list. I've been dying to play Esper thanks to Murders of Karlov Manor. Uh, so check this video out here.